hey guys welcome to a day in my life it is 8 a.m very early in the morning and your girl is up i have so many things i want to do today and for me to achieve them all i have to be up as early as possible as somebody who work from home i'm not gonna lie one of my biggest struggle is waking up as early as possible because in my head why am i waking up so early <laughs> I naturally sleep too late too because I ended up working and all of that. But let's get into today's video. So I got this um laundry basket from Jumia and y'all this is one of the things I've gotten from Jumia recently that I really love. It came so so pretty. I got tired of taking my um dirty clothes downstairs all the time. I was like, okay, I need like a small bag where i can be keeping my my dirty clothes so that when they are full i can take it downstairs to wash so this morning i have a couple of things i want to do today but most of them is just going to be indoor i have a video i want to shoot also i am also learning to explore food you guys i'm going to be cooking at least twice in this video because i realized that i am be stuck in a particular kind of food well, before then, I'm going to go ahead and do a little cleaning in my room because I realized that as soon as I carry my iPad and my phone downstairs, coming up is going to be like a very big deal for me. Like everything I need to do is already in my gadget. So I would like to like finish everything upstairs, clean and do all those good stuff before I go downstairs. I realized that I've not cleaned my mirror. You guys, my mirror, it was so dirty. I didn't even realize how dirty it was until I was seeing the reflection from my or uh, a picture that i took a day before i was like this mirror is at 30 so thanks to god i remember this morning to kind of like clean it up so i'm going to go ahead and take my bath honestly the days that i bathe in the morning i know that sometimes i wake up in the morning i'm so lazy to bathe i just do my maybe skincare routine on my face and that's it but the days i literally bathe in the morning it's about to be a product today so a brand that i work with on ig sent me these face masks and like they were not stingy with their products at all they sent me up to 50 pieces of these masks and i'll be using it and i totally love it so i'm going to go ahead and just you know moisturize my skin it is very important i realized that my tan is coming like the weather is getting dry so this is the time you grab your best moisturizing lotion like and that lips you want to make sure that lips is always juicy you guys i got this lip gloss from a very random brand in a supermarket and now i totally love this lip gloss and i can't find it again this is one of the reasons why i don't like buying stuff from random brands because most times you end up liking them and now you can't find them again i took a picture of it and i took it to all the supermarkets i have gone to last week and i didn't i, didn't, I couldn't find it so i'm done with everything i'm doing upstairs i'm just gonna go downstairs first of all i'm going to open up the house for fresh hair one of the things i'm prioritizing recently is actually cooking and eating you guys i just realized that i have not been eating and cook i've not been eating not even cooking i've not been eating a lot because i actually cook but like i don't make our time to actually eat i am not somebody who look forward to eating i don't even like eating in the first place so, so it's been a struggle for me to eat so what i do recently is that i make food that i like like i make food that i just like you get so i've been watching this uh tiktok video a lot where they make very fast snacks how to make bread in different ways and i've been trying them out and yeah oh, i've been loving it when it comes to food like i find it so hard to eat other things that are not things i'm used to but i'm trying like i'm literally open to you know cooking and exploring stuff recently i have been struggling with my weight because i do not eat like sometimes when my husband called me the first thing he will ask me is have you eaten because he knows probably i have not eaten yeah i'll try this vita milk this uh double choco shake this one is literally the best they've released a lot of flavor but you see the particular choco shake it is it's the best i used to like the milk one but last week i started to buy this sugar shake and ooh, i love it like i'm not even buying that make one again like i'm just sticking with this particular one it just take like actual uh tea like it just take the way our nine you know that our nigerian milo tea that's exactly how it is and i totally love it so after eating i went ahead and clean up and i did some editing i have a couple of videos i wanted to post on instagram and tiktok and i went ahead and just edit my videos and try to clean up the kitchen i take everything in my life seriously except food and i, I am changing for good <laughs> i am changing for good you guys i am learning how to cook other things that is not just rice and stew oh my god rice and stew want to kill me so 
it's just the easiest food to cook as far as you have a stew in your house you're good to go so guys i have a sit-down video i shot for this channel one of the reasons why i woke up early today was so that i can get everything i wanted done i just finished my first sit-down video and it went really well i'm so like i've been wanting to do this video for the longest time and anytime i want to do it there's always noise Thanks to God, I was able to do all that video and it went so perfectly. One of the things I struggle with when it comes to sit down video is the fact that I used to forget to write down my points. I have my points in my head, then I will forget to write them down. Now I'm about to shoot the video and I forget everything I wanted to say. So lately, I have been writing down everything. Your girl is too old to remember anything. I saw this new nail technique on, on TikTok and I wanted to try it. In fact, I did a sample of my Tom. And I tried it and it came out so cute. So this is the one I did. I used the nail extension. So I have a self-maintenance uh, video coming up. You guys will get to see what I'm trying to say in that video. It's a TikTok hack that I saw how you can do your own nails without having to file all that filing that comes to the acrylics, nails and all of that. You guys will get to see. So I realized that I don't have some of the things for that method, that style of nail. So I'm going to rush to Ebano to get uh, the nail or some of the things that I need and also get some skincare products that I need so you guys I have been struggling between uh, switching from chin hunt to dove but then again the prices yeah when did these products become so expensive like we used to buy this body scrub for six thousand uh, five thousand five hundred but now they are ten thousand thirteen thousand fourteen thousand fifteen like it's just crazy why is everything so expensive all of a sudden but they told me the price of the things that i picked that is not even up to seven item i was like how did we get here can you do it again are you sure so that i go home pretty late from uh, ebano you guys already know traffic is crazy at this time like i think it's a few days to christmas and you guys the traffic in lagos is so crazy see if you're in your house just stay. if you have like a store beside your house go there and buy don't, don't even bother coming to the big stores like things are so so expensive and the road blocked i spent almost three hours coming back home it's crazy like the entire road is blocked so this night like i said you guys i'm exploring food and i'm trying to do food that i like i really like shawarma but i don't like the way they make shawarma you guys when i go to buy shawarma there's this awkward thing that i do i don't like to look at when they are making it like when i want to buy shawarma no matter how branded no matter how big that restaurant is i don't want to see you make that shawarma like i get so irritated that i won't want to eat it again so i learned how to make my own shawarma this is not my first time like i've always made my own shawarma myself and i learned how to do it and ever since then i enjoy my own shawarma i have a special love for shawarma but my problem is how they make it and i don't like to look at i don't know how to explain it like when they are mixing and doing all those stuff, as soon as they are done and they hand it over to me, I can't eat it again. I just feel like, ew. <laughs> Anyways, this came out so nice, even though I felt like I almost burnt it, but I enjoyed it. I really pray I keep up this cooking energy, honestly. Guys, so I came back and I was so tired. When I came back from Ebano, I was so freaking tired. And the traffic in Lagos, you guys, is so noisy. And that's why I decided to like um, use the mic. It's very, very noisy today. Just know that there's always a new construction going on somewhere. So I started to use the mic. So guys, like I said, I came back yesterday now and I was so, so tired. And I just knew that I can't continue this vlog. I went out around 4 and I came back around 8. Make that make sense. That's one thing about living in Lagos. Like, the traffic is so crazy. You can't just rush into a nearby store and just rush back. It's never like that for Lagos. I got this package. I have been very very busy today but I thought to just end this vlog so I can edit and post it before Christmas hopefully Christmas. but anytime you watch this video just know that I had shot it way way before Christmas so Kanto sent me their package their hair care products you guys know Kanto right they are very very popular hair care brand so they sent me their package so they sent me their package to shoot like a Christmas uh, content with them and yeah so when it comes to this canto, honestly, I have a, a small story about this canto. But that story is for another day. <laughs> oh, that's it. Actually, I genuinely love canto. If you live in Nigeria, this is one of the most popular hair care, natural hair care products. Canto is one of those products we started our natural hair with. I myself, I have canto products that I bought myself that I had used in the past. Their product is pretty nice. So I also have this uh, sandals, these slippers that I got. 
I've wanted something like this for a long Oh my goodness, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I want. I got this package. The fact that I reached out to this brand and they told me it's going to it's going to take uh 15 days to make. This is not what I want. I wanted a white sole. Oh, is this is how it looks. Let me check. Ed. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted from a different brand though. This is what I wanted. And they gave me this. Like I was so excited for this for this. I hate when I spend too much money on something and it's not coming the way I want. Though it's very solid and you know let me check the next one. Okay, this is the next one. I got it from a page on IG. You know what? Let me try it on and see before I start judging. Okay, this is pretty nice actually. I like how it looks. Ah, this one is really pretty. I like like this one. It came out exactly the way I wanted. I really love it. Even though my feet very tiny. I wear a size 38 and I'm just very very happy that they made it in my actual size. Because I know that my leg is very small. Ooh. I like this one. Oh my god, I really wish that that other one came out like this. But let me try out the other one too. But look at that. I love it. This looks so good. I can't wait to rock this with the baggy jean, guys. I really wish I bought two of these instead of the other one. Maybe in a different color, but this really looks nice. Let's go ahead and test the other one. Let's see if there's any hope. For this one, is a 10 over 10. Okay, now. Okay. Not actually bad. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought, actually. But I still wish that is why it's like the background, like the sole. Is that what they used to call it? Okay, the sole is the bottom, right? However, I want to be like what I showed you guys on my phone. But this looks really nice and to that to think that i have very small legs and this really fit i was so worried that they are going to make it to be too big for my leg but like it's just perfect and i love it i love 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 it it actually looks good on my nail polish and yeah even though i'm going to give it like a six because i still wear what i want though i might still go back and buy that particular one but i like it mm, it's not so bad as i thought anyways guys i genuinely love to just vlog my daily life but i just feel like sometimes every day is not very interesting but the days i have that interesting i'll definitely be dropping more daily vlog i love the fact that with daily vlog you can post as much as you want honestly that's one thing i love about daily vlog you can but with, but with weekly vlog you have to wait for like the you have to wait for seven days to post but with daily vlog you can post as much as you want and that's just it and one thing i love about daily vlog is the fact that you can post every day i'm literally looking forward to that time i'm going to be posting at least three to four times three to four times on this channel i will literally be the happiest because i don't want to be consistent but with the whole thing with the whole wedding christmas thing i'll just be busy and all of that so this actually weekend actually maybe tomorrow uh, from monday i'm going to be doing like a wedding series and i'll definitely carry you guys along so from monday after this particular video and the season video that i made i will start you know I will start uh, my wedding series of uh, vlog and you guys I really can't wait after Christmas we are straight up immediately after Christmas we are going straight into wedding stuff because yeah that's all about this um, video I'll see you guys in my next video